Hi, Russ here. Hey, another OTB thinker moment. Yesterday I did one on my shop vac system for my shop, and I showed how the dust collector and the cyclone with the bucket underneath, how that all worked. And somebody mentioned to me they were going to do that exact same thing, only they wanted to make their own baffle instead of using the, buying the cyclone. And I had told them, been there, done that. Uh, on my miter saw station, this is the back of it, I used a theme baffle that I made myself instead of buying the cyclone. Um, I, all it took was a piece of plywood, two paint buckets, these are five quart paint buckets from a big box store, and a little bit of PVC. And that's all it takes. So, and taking it on and off is very similar to doing it on that one. The, the only difference is there's a groove at the bottom. So, with that in mind, let me show you how it works. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to suck up some sawdust and put it into the, so how it goes into the bucket when I use it. And I'll, then I'm going to put it under a load so you can hear it and watch this suck down so you can see it's drawing very well to full capacity of this shop vac, which is the one I'm using, a little one horse shop vac. So it doesn't take much. And then when I get done, we'll take it apart and let you see how I built this. Uh, just before I take it, turn it off, I will pull the bucket off, pull the bungee cord down, and you can see that it'll stay put until I pull on it, and then finally can break it loose. But it does stay sealed against there. So I'll show you how the, well that seals before I shut it down. You ready? I'm gonna turn it on and let's go through this process. <laughs> There's my dust. No, I didn't measure it. I don't need to. This thing is as clean as before I started, believe me. And if you don't believe that, I'm sorry, because I'm not going to take that apart. So let's take this off real quick. Let me show you how this thing actually works. This is the port going up to the miter saw. And this is the vacuum hose coming from the vacuum shop vac. And so the baffle is basically two buckets. So if I take this off. <laughs> And yes, I do use more screws than that usually. I just prepared for this demonstration. And here's the guts of, a, of the thing baffle. One sheet of plywood. On the bottom side, I cut a groove in it that this bucket sets into that groove. And that seals into that groove. And that's what seals it and holds it in place when there's vacuum applied from the shop vac. I had the 270 degree theme baffle opening here to the upper chamber from the lower chamber. And this is where what makes the theme baffle work. And the top, you can't really see it, but basically I have a pipe in the middle. That I used inch and a quarter because of the size of this shop vac. But I put a piece down the middle with a cut a hole, put it in there, hot glued it. And then I hot glued this block with a tight fit around this PVC pipe and hot glued it all around so as to help make sure that it's sealed good and it gives this thing, this pipe support so you don't accidentally crack the top of the bucket or something. And on the side one, it couldn't be easier. I see all those fancy ways they do that and that's fine if you want to do that. But all I did here is I cut an elongated hole and I cut my pipe at an angle. I put it in the hole and I put one sheetrock screw right through the bucket and caught that upper part, that upper tip of this PVC pipe to hold it up against there. With that in place there, then I just started hot gluing this in to hold it in place and seal it. And that's how it's put together. You can't really see it in there through the camera how that, eh, maybe almost you can see it up in there, how it has the angle. But that's all it takes. Two paint buckets. And a piece of plywood. Easy peasy. If you have any questions, uh, please 
leave a comment below. If you liked it, say so. And also, share it. I think you'll probably find somebody out there that would like to see this and use this idea. And unless they see it, they won't get to see it. So, thanks for watching it. If you haven't watched my other one that I did um, about the shop vac, go back and take a look at it. And thanks for coming by this time. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.